welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this new event that's here i heard from a lot of you guys that it's confusing so i did my best to make my tutorial i'm sorry if i sound like this today i'm just like having a difficult time today and it was like the worst possible time for the event to drop because today i just really didn't feel like making the video but okay so let's get started i know in the previous video a lot of you guys were helping me decide whether i should get the pink suit or the guy suit or neither of the suits but i ended up deciding on the guy suit not because like it fits my aesthetic but mostly because of the background item so the window is a very very nice item that i would love to use in starry corridor lately i've been finding myself doing a lot more starry corridor entries and i can definitely see myself using this as for the pink girl i really like her too like her pose is so unique in a sense where she's looking away from the screen so again that would also be an asset to starry corridor entries one thing that that you should take in consideration of is that background items and items that are detached from Nikki they cannot be used in group picks as in like you can't use somebody else's background however you can use somebody else's pose even if you don't have friends you can just find it on the starry corridor but without further ado let's get started and let's choose the boy so remember that whenever you choose a path that means that you get to finish that suit first and if you only want to do one suit then you have to choose wisely and you can only choose one time Essentially for this one over here, this is my first attempt of making this outfit and I just chose the tag so um, you have to make sure that your scores are within 10,000 points of each other and you can check the tags via the tips on the top right on the screen. Um, another strategy to use for this one is not to get the highest score possible but to just get like a score where you can replicate with the other tags. I know it sounds pretty complicated and honestly it is pretty complicated. I was having a really rough time doing it and my strategy was just to put on tags at first. So here you can see that I only put on the pure and the elegant tags. I just chose the top item of each outfit. I didn't go ahead and put any foreground items or any background items. I just stuck with basically the hair, dress, coat, socks, shoes, makeup and some head accessories so I didn't choose any of the other tags at all afterwards I just checked my skills and um, more defensive skills will be to your advantage because you don't want to be getting a high score but however this can change over time depending on your situation because later I'll show you why I actually decided to take smile with me for the styling battle so over here, I'm just letting my Nikki run. I'm not really doing anything. I tried blocking one spell and I wasn't actively participating in the battle. So the first score I received was around 65,000. So that means I need a score within 10,000 of 65,000, meaning 55,000 or 75,000. I clearly didn't get that score over here because I only did the two tags. So that's why you have to focus on both tags. I was off by a little and as a result, I thought that it would be a good idea for me to just add a little bit of other items for the other two tags and seeing how it turns out. So I just changed the makeup and then I just added a few more like hair accessories and decided to go about my way. You can see that I hit resonance and this time you can see it on the top right of the screen and you're given 11 of these boxes instead of 10. So over time it does add up. So make sure you try to hit resonance on the first try. But honestly, don't worry about it because the second stage I'm doing, I literally couldn't get resonance for four times and I just really tried mixing and matching my items. What I did find that was helpful was making so that three main items are for two tags and the other two tags are the remaining items. So for example, the hair, dress, and the socks, I would make it the first two tags, and then the other two tags, I would make the coat, the shoes, and the makeup, and then I will adjust accordingly to it. If you're really off by just a little, you can take smile and then keep the same outfit and just use smile on whichever outfit you are just a little bit lower on, but overall, it's a lot of trial and error, and trust me, like it took me a long time to figure this out. Um, I don't think there's like a definitive guide for everybody because not everybody has the same clothing and I, and like unless there is like a set suit that everybody has and useful for each stage then maybe then there can be a guide but overall I think it's just like a lot of trial and error so essentially 1800 diamonds is the least amount of diamonds you can spend assuming that you get all of the tries right and all of the stages right and I myself I haven't been able to get it so I'll probably need to spend around like 1900 diamonds in order to get the suit but let me know in the comments below who is able to finish all the event stages with just one try because um for stages two and the last stage like i wasn't able to get on the first try in fact i got it on my fourth try and my third tried respectively 
If you have any questions, please just leave it below. And I hope that people who do have a better understanding of this tutorial will be able to answer the questions. And if anything, I'll try my best as well. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!